Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another Saturday stationery declutter. So today I'm going to be going through my stickers, which is going to be pretty difficult because I have an obsession with stickers. And as you guys may know, I run an Etsy shop that also specializes in planner stickers. So I not only have a lot that I've purchased, but also a lot that I've made. So I'm going to try to go through them and get rid of as many as I can that I just don't use or love anymore. There's really no reason for me to be jamming everything into my drawer if I don't really need it or use it anymore. So today we're going to be going through my stickers and why don't we just go ahead and get started. So I just decided to put on a big comfy sweatshirt and just get really comfortable and I figured we could just chat as we go along. So I hope that this more casual video is okay with you guys. So my stickers all live in this drawer right here and there are so many stickers. I have this container here that has a bunch of different ones in it and then I have an even larger one in the back that has a lot of my stickers in here. So I'm just going to close this and put that there and then I'm going to go grab a little container so we can put the things I no longer want in there. So I will be right back. Okay, so I just changed the angle up a little bit so you guys could see a little more close up what it is we are working with today. So the first thing I'm going to go through is my sticker flake collection. I really doubt I'm going to get rid of any of this because it's the only sticker flakes uh, that I own. So I have quite a few different ones. I have a lot of Gude Tama ones and some... Uh, Sumiko Gurashi, Rilakkuma, um, Nyanko, what is that one? The one I can't say, Kutsuta Nyanko, um, Totoro, then those little marshmallow animal things, and then just some random ones and some little twin star ones. So this actually still has room to grow, so I think I'm just going to leave the sticker flakes alone for now because uh, I still like all of these. And then I have quite a few doubles as well. So that's what most of these are. Um, my pen pal, Aleli, sent these to me. I really love these. I'm so excited to have a backup of the ones I already have. So I am so thankful. Thank you so much if you're watching this. I love these. And then I also have a backup of the paper doll ones. I just love these stickers so, so, so much. So I wanted to have a backup. And I have a backup of those sticker flakes as well. And then these ones are actually new. So these need to find a home. And this is also new. I think that I can unravel this and it's going to be more of like a sheet type of sticker. So I'm going to put the things I know need to be um, kind of like put away in its own pile so we can deal with that. So let's let get some organization going here. Um, then we also have my sticker savers, so I'm going to keep these. I just need to probably find a better way to store these as well. So everything that needs to be put away will go in its own pile. And then we have a couple different sticker um, folders. Lunar is hanging out. He's very curious as to what I'm doing. So we'll go through these. So as you can see, the paper doll stickers are on the front. And then I have quite a few other ones from Pony Brown. I just think that their stickers are really great. So I have those. And then this is another one. Um, and then I have these, which are from Jet Pens, I believe. They're not my favorite, but I do use them from time to time. And then we have another sticker folder. So this one has a lot of the stickers that actually came in these different cat sticker organizers. So the first three folders are all of those. And then we have a little blank one here and then some of my Sanrio characters and Sumiko Gurashi. Okay, we have two Sumiko Gurashi front and back and then these puffy really cool ones. Which I really like these but I never use puffy stickers so those ones may have to move. And then some of my like masking stickers from Japan. And then these are like little masking or washi tape like sheets. So I think all of those are going to stay for now. And then I have these which are 
either extras or just ones that didn't fit anywhere else. So let's go through that. So this one is just a backup of a sheet that I already have. So we'll put that in the backup pile. This one is also a backup as well as this little sheet here. Now these ones are not backups. These are some stickers from Daiso. So I have the food ones and then also the animal ones. And they just don't fit in those little sticker um, folders. So I was just keeping them out. And then I also have these cat stickers from Daiso as well. So they are also just too big to fit. So I'll put that in the pile that needs to be organized. And then we have these, which are little Gudetama nail stickers. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use them for nails or I will just kind of like paste them somewhere, but they still need to find a home regardless. This, this little box is kind of like a mishmash right now. So I'm glad that we're finally going through it. And then I have this little Rilakkuma clear file. It's like a three pocket one. And sometimes this is good to hold stickers in. So this may come in handy for the ones that are too big just to kind of slip them into something. So that's definitely a possibility. Then we have, oh, more of those Gudetama nail stickers. And then we have a ton of different washi boards to make like washi samples and things like that. Um, when I travel like to my parents' house, this is what I take instead of taking rolls of washi. So I love to be able to make my own little set when I'm going away. And then, oh, here's a bunch more. <laughs> yeah, here's some more of those. And then somehow my extra uh, Sanrio stickers got put into my little Hovenichi notebook. So those are also gonna go with the duplicates. And then this is just where I swatch like my different pens and things to see how they will work on the Tomoe River paper. So I'm definitely gonna keep this just cause it helps me if I want like a specific look for a specific design then I can look in here and know what the colors are actually gonna show up as, which is great. And then I don't, Oh no, this one I swatched my watercolors on and then also my um, deco runners. So I think it's just kind of more, it's not so much as seeing what the colors are, but just having like a sheet to refer to when I'm looking for a design so I know exactly what I already have. So keeping that. And then what is this? Oh, this little bag, this is a little Twin Stars bag, and this has some of, like, my memory pieces from Japan, or, like, when me and my mom went to an amusement park, I kept the ticket in here, so I just figured these may come in handy at some point, but they probably don't belong in here with the stickers, so these are going to have to be moved. Then I also keep these bigger little Twin Stars bags, and this is what I put my stuff in when I travel, so, um... I like to have them here, but again, it's probably not the most logical place to keep them, so these will get moved as well. Then we have some more stickers from Daiso, which were too big, so I will put those with the other ones that were too large. And then it looks like we have a bunch of different um, stickers from my shop. These ones I never posted in the shop. These were kind of just like a prototype for the new ones so I don't think the measurements actually were right on these ones so I'm probably just going to get rid of those ones now and then that is the same and then these are the different ones for the different planners I think that some of these aren't the right size some of these are like my again my prototypes so I'm going to have to go through and see which ones of these actually fit properly because I know that I have some of the wrong ones in here. So that just needs to be dealt with. And then I have some miscellaneous, or just some random pieces of sticker paper in case I want to draw something and then paste it. Um, I could probably think of a better way to store these as well. And then here are a bunch of my washi sampler things. So I have a ton of these. Um, like I said, I really like to take these when I'm traveling. So 
yeah, I have quite a few different ones. Sometimes I do it by brand and sometimes I do it by theme. So like this one is my Halloween one. And then this one is like my MT tapes. So I have like a pink, a pink ish and yellowish and orangish one and a green and blue one. And then I also have my purples and neutrals one as well. So it's really fun to play around with these and take these when I'm on the go. And I also like to use them to cut, to paste the washi stickers that I cut out. So if you have like washi that has like different designs on it, if you want to cut it out, this is like a nice way to kind of like keep them all together and not lose the stickiness. So I just kind of like paste them on here. So I'm not sure if I will keep them in this box still or not, but we'll see. Then I have another one of those notebooks. I'm pretty sure this one is blank. This one was my favorite one, so I've been like very hesitant to use it, but I really love this one and I'll just keep it with the other notebooks for now. Then I also have these little transparent sticky notes from Muji, and these are what I use as like um, another type of sticker saver. These work just as well. They really don't have they have some kind of like waxy coating on it, so the stickers don't ever really stick to it. You can just pull them back off and reuse them. So these have been on here for quite a while, and I can still easily take these off and then place them back down, and it doesn't lose the stickiness on the sticker. So these are always a good option. So I will probably keep these with my sticker savers. And then I have these label stickers, which there's like a bunch of different characters. It's not just Rillacuma, there's also like Pokemon and different cartoon characters. So I really do love these ones. Um, but these ones, I hate these ones. These are Gude Tama ones and the quality is so terrible. I don't know if I'll be able to find one particularly, but I can open up and show you guys that it's just really bad. Um, like the quality is just horrid. Um, yeah, pretty much all of these are terrible. So hopefully that'll focus in on that. It's just gross. Like it just looks so blurry and it's just not cute. It's like, I don't know. And like, what is, I don't know what these even are. This is really ugly. It's just gross. Come on, it doesn't even want to look at it. <laughs> no, come on, stop focusing over here. Yeah, look how gross. I'm just not ever gonna use those, so I'm gonna get rid of those right now. Okay, and it looks like I also have one another little um, bag, so I'll just put those with the other ones. And then I just have oh some more Gude Tama nail stickers and a little clip. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for now. And now we can go into this bin. So this is, I would say, my favorite sticker organizer. This is all of my like transparent or planner schedule seal type of stickers. So I really don't think I will get rid of any of these because I love all of them so much. And these are the ones I find myself using the most. So yeah, definitely none of those are going. Um, let's see. And I have all of my like cat ones in the back here too. So I would say that this one is definitely like my favorite. I just love these. <laughs> so the only one I would really consider getting rid of is these just because I don't use them as much, but I do still like them. And then I have my original haiku sticker sheet and my assassination classroom so yeah i think it's safe to say none of those are going anywhere and then this one is mostly empty for now but it has my little schedule seal like circles and squares and things like that so these are all like clear with a little bit of color so i really love these but this one is still pretty empty so i need to fill this one up and then I also have an extra one. So I'm so glad that I have all this extra storage for stickers now because I can hopefully get everything into its own home. So then everything is nice and organized and easy to get to. So these are some new stickers. Um, okay, wait, that one goes here. I got these from AliExpress, which is where I get a lot of my really cheap stickers. So I really do like these ones. So I will probably put these in one of the cat sticker organizers. Um, I think, 
Maybe in this one? Um, okay, this one isn't a cat. This one's the zoo one. So these, all three of the ones like this came from AliExpress. So you get the little sticker organizer and stickers for like a couple bucks. So I think it's a pretty good deal. So yeah, that's where I have some of these other stickers that are pretty similar. So I think I will go through here and put some of those in this one. Um, there are some that I don't really like that much, so I may end up getting rid of those as well. But for the most part, the ones I really want to get rid of are some of my older stickers. So I'm going to set these aside as well. And then this I've been keeping because I thought I would cut it out and paste it, but I probably won't. I don't know. We'll see. And then these are some new stickers that I just recently purchased from Michaels. There is a weather one, which is really cute. And then there's also like, I guess it's kind of like chores or like to do's. And these are transparent stickers, which I thought was so cool that they're now selling those like in just a regular craft store. And then I also have some little corner stickers as well. And these are kind of like watercolory and really, really pretty. Okay, so now we have some of my alphabet stickers. So I really don't find myself reaching for these very often. I would say when I do, I just go for this because it has all kinds of different types of font and things like that. So if I was gonna keep just one, it would probably be this. Um, this one is kind of like a label letter, which I really don't use and they're just so small, I really can't use them. And then these ones are, oh, I don't think I knew that there was different ones. <laughs> I don't even know if I've ever used one of these. Probably not. This one is only one of each letter, so that's like impossible to use. So I'm going to get rid of those. And I think I'm going to get rid of these as well, just because I've never grabbed for them. Um, these ones, I just don't really use letter stickers very much, to be honest. So I'll probably just get rid of those. This one is just like some different little like sayings and just words and I really don't use these that much but maybe I could try to and I think that those go in this book but I ripped them out and then these I actually do like for alphabet stickers I might end up cutting this sheet down so that it's a little bit shorter but they have like a metallic gold to it and I really like those and then I have these which are from a Hello Kitty sticker book that was like on clearance at Walmart like years ago. It has like the X's and O's and then it has these different letters. Um, I'm not so sure that I would use these but I've been hanging on to them because they're Hello Kitty. So I might hang on to them just for a little while longer and if I still don't use them next time I go through my stickers I'm just going to get rid of them. So I'm going to try to stick this back into the book just so it's not some loose like sheet flying around. And yes, so we'll set that aside. Okay, and here's the other part of that sticker sheet. So I will set that aside to be organized. And then this is a, this is Mombi, I believe. It's a school sticker set or whatever. Um, well, I graduated, so I don't really need these anymore. Um, I may end up trying to give these to my sister. Maybe she could use them for school. But these are all about school things so I really can't use these and then yeah now we're getting down into some of the this organization is not working for me so that's a big reason why I wanted to make this video so I'm really excited to do that but I have this Neko Atsume sticker book that I picked up in Japan and I'm definitely going to keep this I think that this is so precious and I love it so much so that one's definitely hanging around um, then here we have some of my, I think these are like holidays and events. So I have some, a really old sheet from Sweet Kawaii Designs. It's just a happy birthday um, little sheet. So I'm gonna keep that one. I really do like these stickers. And then we have this little Halloween sheet, which probably needs to go in one of those sticker files. So I need to do that. And then I have this random countdown. Um, the Christmas countdown that's in my Etsy shop but I don't think I use all the dates and now I just have this like mismatched like numbers and stuff so I'm just gonna get rid of those I can always print myself more and then I also have some other sets from my shop that I've used most of the stickers off of so I may end up just cutting these down to a smaller size and just 
filing these away. And it looks like I have some random paper. I use this in the sticker organizers to be able to put a sticker on each side so you can still see both of the um, designs regardless. So I definitely need to keep these. Then we have, let's see, these are Erin Condren do-it-all dots. Um, I don't think I've ever, oh, I must have used like one. Oh, I think this one came with my 20, I don't know if it was 2015 or 2016 one. It's like a sample sheet. And then these ones, maybe I had to purchase. I cannot remember, but I've only used like one or two. I can try to use these up, but I don't really reach for them very often. And then I also have some of these smaller ones from Moleskine. Um, I really don't think I would use this bright green one. And this one, I don't really like red either. The only one I would probably use is the gray one, but I may end up getting rid of that one as well. So I'll have to think about that. Then I have these big Hello Kitty ones, which I do really like, so I need to use these up. Then we have some, what I call the appointment stack. So that's like doctor's appointments and dentist appointments or eye doctors or even just taking medication reminder type of thing. So I have, most of these are from my shop. So I have like the little doctor, um, little banner so you can write like the time or which doctor you're going to see. So that's what all of these are. And then I have my little contact cases. So I've kind of chopped this guy up a little bit, but it just has like a little kawaii face on it. And it just says, um, it, well, it doesn't say anything. It has an R on it for the right side of the contacts. I thought that that was really cute. I really wish I would use these more to remember when to change my contacts. So I definitely want to use these more. And then I kind of did a similar thing with the pills. So one side of the pill is a color and the other one has a face. And I really do like these, so I should try to use these more. Then I have these rainbow teeth. Um, this design is no longer in the shop, but um, it is pretty cute for when you're going to the dentist. I just hate the dentist, so this makes it at least, at least a little bit better. And then these are super old. These are probably three years old. And these are one of like the very first things I ever put up in my shop when I had no idea what I was doing. So I'm probably just going to get rid of these because I really don't find myself using these ever. And then I also have these, which I don't remember whose shop I bought these from, but these just aren't really my style per se. I think it was supposed to be like a gold, but like the graphics are just not very well done. So you can't even tell that it's supposed to be glitter. So I think I'm just going to get rid of these ones as well. Then we have a little washi book. I forget, oh my god, I can't believe I'm blanking on whose brand this is. Um, is that Michael's? I cannot think of the brand right now, but this is just a little washi book, so I'll definitely keep that. And it looks like I have some random things just like not put together in here. So it looks like it's all of my home things. So these are like things to do around the house. So then I have some of my random um, chores ones from my shop as well. So they just have like little kawaii faces on them. And yeah, this is like one of the 12 piece sets where you can pick two designs. Um, so yeah, I probably just need to cut all these up and put them just in one folder so that I can just get to all of those. Um, I don't know why this one is randomly hanging out, but this one is from... Uh, I cannot remember whose shop this is. Um, maybe if you see the design, you will know. I just forget at the moment. So, yeah. Okay, and then I think this is what I call the nature stack. <laughs> when I try to, like, help myself remember, that's what I will do. But this one has a lot of like my more like watercolor things and weather or space or anything like that. So I have a lot of stickers. I really have a problem, I think. So uh, yeah, these ones are fun. Um, these are some crystals that used to be in the shop, but I don't think they are listed anymore. 
And then these are some some little like gem things I was thinking about listing, but then I just never did. I have like a bunch of different pieces of that sheet. Um, then I have these, which I really love. I don't know why I never posted these in the shop, but they're little like wreaths and just little like floral um, circles and things like that. I really want to use these more. So just this organization is not working out. So I haven't been able to utilize all the stickers I really like to their potential. And then this is my Kawaii Weather set. So I really like this. And they actually are small enough to fit in the Hobonichi. So there's no reason for me to not use them. And then another floral banner. And then these are just so old. I might as well just get rid of them because I haven't been using them. Um, I have some watercolor moons and things like that. Um, I really do like these, but I never use these. And I don't know, unless I do like a space theme, maybe I will just set these aside and think about it because I have a lot of them. And these are my stickers. Um, and then there's like these little planet ones. So maybe I will just set those aside for now and think about those ones. And then I have this, which is from my sister's Etsy shop. And this is like a moon phase banner, which is really cool. Um, I really should use this because I really love the look of this. I think this would actually fit pretty well in the week. So I'll put that with the other space things. And then I always chop up all of my stickers. So I have like a really tiny kawaii weather piece. And then this is like a really old weather one that doesn't have the faces on it, which I don't use. And then this was a, I'm trying to think, this was like a new weather set that I was going to release and I didn't, but this is actually sized for the Hobonichi. So if there's anything that you guys like from these stickers, by the way, just let me know and I can put them back in the shop if you're interested or list them for the first time. Um, sometimes I just start overthinking things and then I just don't post them and then I have some more scraps of the weather. And then this one is from Etsy. I'm not gonna put the shop. I just don't, I'm not thrilled with these. The cut was terribly wrong and I'm just gonna get rid of them. And then I have these, which I just made. These are not my design. I just used some images online and made these. So just different gemstones, which I don't know why I haven't even used a single one. I really should do like a gemstone spread so maybe I'll put these aside too just to remember to do that then we have this goes with these so this is like my miscellaneous characters and things like that so I have like all these emoji sheets I think these were from Michaels okay so this might just be miscellaneous I'm really not sure anymore but these are little emoji ones which are really cute and I really do like these so I will hang on to those and then these are like some of my favorites these are some of Sweet Kawaii Design's old designs and this is of um what is that Adventure Time and I just think that these are so precious I love those ones so much and then I have some random ones here actually I probably need to go through those that's something I probably need to think about and then these, I just never, I really don't find myself using these, so I'm going to get rid of those. Um, I never reach for these either. I don't know why, but it's not like they're not cute, but I just don't use them. And then I have some really old game controller stickers from my shop. Um, again, I never reach for these at all. So I'm just going to pass these on and then I made myself some emoji stickers which I literally just went on Google and looked up the emoji graphics and made them for myself um, obviously because you can't sell something like that but um, I guess I could hang on to these and put them with the other emoji stickers for now. Then I have a piece of my Japan set which I definitely want to use. And then this is from that same shop that I cannot remember the name of. Hopefully I will find the name and be able to put it uh, on the screen but this is like a little stationary and artsy craftsy set and I love this so much and I loved it so much I didn't really want to use it so I've only used a couple so I need to use that and then there's also this really cute lemonade stand one from that same shop and we have a bunch of the Hello Kitty ones so it's like a farm kind of theme and there's like a bunch of like fruits and veggies vegetables and things like that um, yeah, so this one's like 
I don't know. It's really cute. I probably should use this. Oh, and then here is a, this might be from Sweet Quiet Designs as well, or I actually cannot remember, but it's like a little Alice in Wonderland set. So that would actually also be a really fun um, themed week to do. And then we have these. This actually might be cute for something in February with all the pink and that one as well. So yeah, as you can see, I have like a ton of stickers. It's like really bad. <laughs> And then we have the animal stack. So hopefully get rid of some of these. Um, this one I need to look through as well. This is one from Sweet Quiet Design. I used to use this to remind me to clean the litter box. I think these are so cute and I definitely want to keep those. These are like a really old sticker from my shop. Never use these, so those are going. And these are also from my shop from like a bigger sheet, but again, I just chop everything up. So these are little like kitty that have like little circles so these I call these like kitty notes or something like that so you can always write like little reminders or appointments in there so I definitely want to keep those and then I have a bunch of different cats from another shop on Etsy okay L heart designs so there's just like a bunch of kitties and stuff so I probably won't get rid of anything kitty related if I don't have to and then these little kitties in boxes this is the same design wise that my Christmas countdown is but these are just the regular version instead of the Christmas version and then I have these little paw prints and these you can find in my sister's Etsy shop and I just don't use these very much because Lunar doesn't really go to the vet anymore as much as he used to when he was little so I don't really need these even though they are cute um, and then these are also like little animal notes which I need to use more and then these are like really big stickers and they're like um, kind of transparent, but I never use these. I don't, I really want to because I think they're very cute. So maybe again, I will plan out a little theme for my weeks inspired by the cat stickers. Then I have some little boxes for my Hobonichi. Then my Erin Condren budget book. I really wanted to take this and make myself a different layout just like this. I love how this is all like laid out. All your expenses are there. And it's like every month you know where your money is going. So I want to make something like this in either my planner or I would like to make it on like um, spreadsheet or something like that. So I'm just going to set that aside for now so that I can remember to do that. And then here's another one of my Japan sets, just the one piece. Um, I don't know why I haven't used these or why I have two of them actually. And then we have little boxes. Um, so this is probably where I can get rid of most of them because they don't fit. So these ones were for the Erin Condren, which I don't use anymore. These ones were like a very, very, very early um, design for the Hobonichi that I ju it just doesn't fit right and I don't like it and then these ones are little mason jars which um, I probably could keep these are probably one of the ones that I would keep just because I think they're they're pretty nice so I have quite a few different colors of those and then I have just these little squares which I don't use and then these little like picture frames that I also don't use and then here's some more house kind of things. So I have this clean your brushes set from Sweet Quiet Designs, keeping that. And then I have one of my favorite sets, honestly, from my shop was the mail set. Um, I really like this guy. So I'll definitely keep that. And I can always make myself more when I run out. And then I also have these, which are little package um squares and things like that but these actually don't fit the Hobonichi so I need to redesign these and I also have the TV version of that so I need to set those aside and remind myself to resize those and then I have some of these from Sweet Kawaii Designs just some random home ones and then some really old um, shopping cart ones from my Etsy from like when I first started it which I hate and then I have some of these little dollar bill circles um it looks like it kind of shifted off the sheet and i don't know how that's even possible uh -huh. i have no idea how i'm gonna fix that let's see um i don't know if you can 
These are fallen. Okay, but this is pretty much what it is. It's just like some little dollar sign things. I, I need to adjust it because it's like the sticky part is sticking out on the back. So I'm going to need to fix that. And there's more of the ones from Sweet Quiet Design. This is a super old um, Bills set from my Etsy shop. There was another piece to it, but I don't use this. This is for the Erin Condren, so that's going to go. Then this is just a little, um, just like gas type of sticker. So that's nice when you get gas, you can write down how much you spent. Then there's a credit card sticker, which is nice and small, so you can remember to pay your bills. And this is like a little sampler from One Orange Snowflake. I'd like to use this up. I also have this from Hello Ashley Ann, which is a bill due set, but I really don't use this, so I'm probably just gonna get rid of that. And then one from Planner S, which is super cute, and it's like chores, so I need to use that as well. Then here's like a baking set from that same shop as earlier. I really love this. I've I just used this in my Hobonichi this past month. And then we have these, which are from Sweet Kawaii Design, and these actually do kind of fit. I mean, they're a little bit bigger than the Hobonichi, um, the cousin, but you could still make it work. So I will still use those. And then I have some of mine, which actually do fit the Hobonichi. I don't know why I never listed these in the shop, but they're actually sized for the Saturday, Sunday in the Hobonichi cousin. So if you guys are interested, just let me know. Um, but yeah, I really love these. I used the same design in my Erin Condren and I don't know, I was really happy with it. So just let me know if you're interested, but I'm definitely going to keep those. Then we have some little dots which are from my shop, and then these dots as well. Um, I do like these dots, but they're just a little too big, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with mine. Um, then we have this travel sticker book, which is kind of fun, like you get a bunch of different travel -y themed things, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cute, so I'm gonna hang on to that as well. I'll stick that aside with all the larger sticker books, and I will find a different way to organize those. And now these ones are all school related, um, so I'm probably just going to get rid of all of these because I graduated. So there's just a bunch of different like random school ones like that. Maybe my sister will use these. And then there's a bunch of like exams and just different flags. And then these ones were from my shop and I'm actually like really sad I didn't get to use these more because I love these colors. But yeah, the only ones I could really use are the study ones. So I may end up just cutting those out and just keeping those so I can use those. But otherwise, the other ones don't really work for me. So I will set this aside and just cut those out to my liking. And then these are some more that I just don't really use. So I'm just going to get rid of those. Um, what is this one? To-dos and different lists and checklists and things like that. Um... I like these little ones like this that just are like a title and a little box. So I'll keep those, but I really don't like many of these. So get rid of those. These are from my shop, but I just think they're actually too small. So I'm going to get rid of those as well. And then these ones I do like, but again, they're not for the Hobonichi. So um, I may just get rid of those as well. Uh, yeah, I probably should. The checks box doesn't fit the Hobonichi. Um, these are also some more from my shop as well, and they just don't fit the Hobonichi. So there's really no reason for me to be keeping all these things for a planner that I no longer use. And then this rescheduled, canceled, postponed thing that is like one of my very first designs on Etsy. I'm going to get rid of this, and I want to redesign this. So I'm going to put it over with the other ones that need redesign and then I'll have a new one that actually fits and then a lot of these are just going to go. I color coordinated all these things but these are all for the Erin Condren so anything like that I really just don't need and not, there's just like a bunch of different colored ones like that so I can just get rid of like all of those and the nice thing is I make these stickers so I can always replace them if 
I miss one of them or anything like that. I think there's a dog outside running. <laughs> um, so these ones are more like exercise related. So these ones are little bikes, which I do really like, but I only have like four of them left. So I'm going to put those little scrappy ones over here. And then we have this bigger sheet. I just don't know if I really use them. I don't ride my bike as much and I haven't used them for a while. So I think I'm going to let go of those. And then these ones are some little workout ones from Sweet Kawaii Designs. And these ones are some sports ones from my shop. I only really use the volleyball ones for high cue, so I'm going to cut those ones apart. And then my sister makes this one, which I think is so precious. So I'm going to keep that for when I work out, which is like never. And then we have some banners. Um, this is just a random like watercolor one. I don't know why it's all by itself, but um, then we have some little, these ones are actually maybe my first design that was ever on Etsy. So I'm gonna get rid of those. And then there's these little baby um, flags. I don't really like blue or yellow or orange, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the same thing. Um, these ones I will keep because these are colors I actually use and these are like a glossy and you know what, These the print on here is messed up, so I might as well make myself ones that are actually good. These ones look like they're also a little messed up. Okay. Okay, so these ones are okay, so I'll keep those ones. These are some old ones, and then here are the rest of those watercolor um, banners. So this one goes with these. Then we have these banners. And then these ones are a nicer version of my old design. These are not mine though, these are from that other Etsy shop, so I think I'm just going to keep these ones because they are a little bit nicer. And just get rid of mine. Then we have the travel stickers. So I have these little teeny tiny like airplane stickers. I don't even know if you can see that. They're just teeny tiny, but I don't really need those. And then I have these little suitcase ones. Um, I really just don't use these enough. I don't really travel very often, but I will just set these aside for now and I can always print more if I need them. And then I have this one, which is a travel set, which is really cute. And then I have this one, which is like when you're traveling to the beach. So I'll keep that one as well. Um, it looks like we have more of those corner stickers. So I can put these with the new ones that I just purchased. And then we have these big, sets that used to be in my shop. This was like a two page set, but I would always take the ones that were like misprints or miscuts. So I don't know why I wouldn't just give myself like the decent ones. So, which is why I never really use them. <laughs> and then I have a lot of these like little washi sheets and things. I just really don't use these either. So the only one I would probably use is this. So I could take that one. I'm just not really a floral type of person so something more simple like this is probably more my style and a lot of these are very bright and yeah I would just say not very me so yeah I think I'll get rid of the rest then I have little pieces from my lush bags which I never pasted so I don't really need those a random bucket from my cleaning set and something else a random iron <laughs> and then we have some little washi strips that I made these again are not my design I just took these off of the internet and made them for my personal use so I need to use those I will put those with those other um, gemstone ones for a themed week and then we have some more Hello Kitty ones these dots are nice and small as well these ones are a glossy and then mine are a matte finish so I'll just hang on to these for a little while longer. And then we have those little squares that come with the Erin Condren's, which I never use. And I think that I always just like the color of this sheet, so I would hang on to it, but I don't use it, so there's no point. And then these are fun, um, but I've only used it once. I don't know why. I probably should use these more. I really like these. And then I have this little like scalloped edge one, but this is for the Erin Condren, so it doesn't fit. And then I have another one of my sets. And then I have some random stuff. 
and then these little work ones which I cannot remember whose shop these are from but I kind of have my own work ones so I don't really find myself using these much anymore so I feel like I'll just get rid of these and use my own work corners instead okay now it's time to organize this is gonna be a nightmare <laughs> <laughs> 